Hemoglobin is made up of globin proteins and an iron-rich compound known as heme. It is found in red blood cells and is involved in the transport of oxygen around the body. Red blood cells do not have a nucleus, increasing the amount of space for hemoglobin. There are approximately 300 million hemoglobin molecules in each red blood cell. The structure of hemoglobin enables it to carry oxygen with high efficiency. It has a quaternary structure made up of four globin subunits, most commonly two alpha and two beta subunits. In the centre of each globin subunit is a heme group, which is where oxygen binding takes place. Each hemoglobin molecule can therefore bind with four molecules of oxygen, one on each heme group. Oxygen binds to hemoglobin in the lungs, where the concentration of oxygen is high. Binding of oxygen is a cooperative process. This means that when an oxygen molecule binds to one of the heme groups, it causes a conformational change in the protein, which makes it easier for oxygen to bind to the other heme groups. The cooperative binding process of hemoglobin is highlighted in the oxygen dissociation curve. This graph shows the partial pressure of oxygen, a way of measuring the concentration of oxygen on the x-axis, and the percentage saturation of hemoglobin on the y-axis. The graph is sigmoidal, or S-shaped. Once oxygen has loaded onto hemoglobin, it is transported by the red blood cells to tissues around the body and unloaded into cells which need oxygen for respiration. Carbon dioxide in the tissues creates an acidic environment, affecting the structure of hemoglobin and lowering its affinity for oxygen. A small decrease in the pH results in a large decrease in the percentage saturation of oxygen. The oxygen dissociation curve is affected by levels of carbon dioxide in the blood. For example, when carbon dioxide levels go up after exercising. The presence of carbon dioxide helps the release of oxygen from hemoglobin, so the curve shifts to the right. This is known as the Bohr effect. Oxygen unloads from hemoglobin one molecule at a time, and hemoglobin returns to its deoxyhemoglobin structure. A developing fetus also needs oxygen from its mother's blood. Fetuses and young infants have a different type of haemoglobin from adults. Fetal haemoglobin has two alpha and two gamma globin chains, and this structure enables it to bind oxygen with a greater affinity. This means that the fetal haemoglobin will always load oxygen from the mother's haemoglobin. Hemoglobin is found in the red blood cells of most vertebrates and some invertebrates. Different organisms have different types of hemoglobin, and their dissociation curves reflect this. For example, a llama living at high altitude, where oxygen levels are reduced, 
needs to be able to pick up oxygen, even at low levels, so the curve shifts to the left. 